time. Don't get hit coming out of a clinch. In case there's a knockdown, who scores that knockdown has to go to Poison Suture Corner, and I want him to remain there until I tell him to come out. Shake hands now, watch Fosbill up the book. You heard the referee, Paul Venti, with the final instructions to the two young fighters. 23-year-old Joe Manley weighed in at 138 and three quarters. Harry Arroyo, 25 years of age, from Youngstown, Ohio, weighed in at 137. And we are about ready to go. It'll be a Royal and White. He is a friend of Ray Boom Boom Mancini from Youngstown, Ohio. He has worked out with Mancini and, uh, of course, followed his career and wants to get some of that spotlight himself. In the red trunks on the right of your screen is Joe Lewis Manley, and you saw almost immediately a sample of his very sharp left jab. He is an excellent boxer. Joe Manley, born in Lima, Ohio, grew up in Detroit, now lives here in Atlantic City was the 1980 Olympic Trials champion at 132 pounds, the 1981 National AAU champion, was in the Army for a while where he won all Army and inter-service titles in 1980 and 81. Over an amateur career, he had a record of 87 and 8, including a victory over the well-regarded professional Jackie Beer. Harry Arroyo made the quarterfinals of the 1980 Olympic Trials at 139 pounds, had over 100 amateur fights and a very distinguished career in the Ohio area, born and raised in Youngstown. And as we mentioned, Manley's been in there with the likes of Carlos Santana and Arturo Leon. In his last outing, he won a 10-round decision over Leon. The last time out for Arroyo was a 10-round decision over Arnie Wells in August in Niles, Ohio. Scoring here in New Jersey by the referee Paul Venti and two judges at ringside. They are Harold Letterman from Orangeburg, New York, and Paul Cavalier from Wayne, New Jersey. Tim, with, with both of these fighters, they've had extensive, extensive amateur backgrounds. They're very, very well-schooled fighters. You're going to see some good moves, some good combinations, and some good strategy in this fight. Good solid right hand scored by Manley, but Arroyo stayed right on him. Two very personable young men. There is a cut under the left eye of Arroyo. Eye on the cheekbone. Yes, it's in a place that isn't too dangerous, Tim, unless it really gets sliced open. The blood's not going to run into the eye, and there can't be any nerve damage to worry about down there. Under a minute to go, round one. Schedule 10 rounds. Junior welterweight bout, limit of 140 pounds. Right hand lead by Arroyo scored, and Manley countered back well. Both fighters looked a little bit tentative, a little bit tight to me. Uh, Gil, which is understandable, they're opening the show here on CBS Sports Saturday. Under 30 seconds to go in the first round. Later today, Hector Macho Camacho against Melvin Paul, another unbeaten lightweight. Coming to the end of round number one. Tim Ryan with Gil Clancy awaiting round number two. You see them working on that cut under the left eye of Harry Arroyo, his corner manager and trainer Ed Sullivan, and his second is Bernard Ford. And that's a man that you're familiar with, Gil. A lot of years with your great champion, Emil Griffith. Yeah, it was all in the family, Tim. Matter of fact, it's Emil Griffith's first cousin, Bernard Ford. Round number two, Paul Venti is the referee, scoring on the round system in New Jersey with a supplemental five-point system in the event of a draw. Arroyo and White from Youngstown, Joe Lewis Manley in the red trunks from Atlantic City. Tim, this is a fight where the speed and flash of Manley is going to be in against the strength and determination of Arroyo. There's no question that Manley has the faster hands that can move a little better than Arroyo. The question of whether he can be trapped into, into punching exchanges with Arroyo. Arroyo has knocked out seven of his last eight opponents. 13 knockouts and 16 victories. But again, we underline that Manley in fights against Santana and Leon has been in with the more experienced fighters. He has knocked out four of his eight opponents and remaining unbeaten as a pro at 8-0. Well, in the corner, Bernard Forbes told Arroyo to double up on his jab, Tim, but he hasn't done it as yet. He's reaching out with that left hand. He could be vulnerable for a right hand counter. Going one jab at a time. There it is again, just the one jab. 
this is a good division for two young prospects like this. And of course, the big fight upcoming, Alexis Arguello and Aaron Pryor for the 140-pound title. But there are not a lot of really good prospects in the division, so it's a real chance for both these young men to gain that experience, exposure, and put themselves into the title picture. A few more fights down the road. Manley with only eight and Arroyo with only 16. A little blood from the nose of Arroyo now. That left jab of Manley has been connecting there. Under a minute to go, round two. Good combination scored by Arroyo, but Manley counterpunches back well. Under 30 seconds to go round two. Manley and red, Arroyo and white. Approaching the end now of the second round, scheduled for 10, Junior Welterway. Joe Lewis Manley, Harry Arroyo. Round number three from the Sands Hotel in Atlantic City. Live Junior Welterweight action, Harry Arroyo in white, Joe Manley in red. And we've been joined by a special guest commentator with Sugar Ray Leonard on another boxing assignment over in Italy. We've got a special man joining us for the next couple of rounds. Tim, I'm glad to welcome Sugar Bill Cosby to our commentating team. <laughs> Yeah, Sugar Bill. Sugar I Bill. That. Have to change all the billing from now on. Sugar Bill Cosby. Never been stunned. <laughs> well, we know that Bill Cosby is a great boxing fan. It seems that wherever we are where he is performing and there's boxing going on, that he's at ringside. In fact, David Brenner is working here at the Sands. Another well-known comedian is also a fight fan, and he's also in attendance this afternoon. Bill, nice to have you with us. Well, thank you, Tim. What do you think of these two young men over the first two rounds? I, I, uh... I like the fact that Man Manley has been able to make a, a royal pay for any mistakes so far. And uh, it's keeping it very, very even or in favor of Manley so far. But we do know that a royal is the puncher. And at any time, a Manley mistake can cause a little shakiness of the legs. But right now, Manley's holding very, very well and making a royal pay for any sort of hesitation. Spoken like a serious fight fan, Gil. Well, that's because I'm sitting here. <laughs> Tim, that was the most incisive comment made today. He's going to take our jobs away. <laughs> Not really. There's no money in this. <laughs> so long as he doesn't smoke the cigars at ringside, that's all. I told you I wouldn't smoke it. Now, you want to get knocked out or what? <laughs> I'd light it right up for you, Bill. Blow the smoke right in Ryan's face. <laughs> no, he's... Canadian people, we must always treat them nicely. All right, good combination by Manley, and that rocked Arroyo right in the middle of the ring and opened that cut again under a minute to go. More blood from the cut under the left eye of Harry Arroyo, and he bangs the right hand of the body of Manley. Tim, so far, as Bill has pointed out, Manley makes Arroyo pay for every mistake. Arroyo's throwing one punch at a time. Manley can miss a punch, but he'll come back and hit you with the next two. That's been the difference in the fight. Arroyo scored that left hook lead. And that was the one time that Manley didn't punch right back. He was backed up by it. Again, Tim, we, we, fi we figured man Manley early and Arroyo late. He puts a lot of pressure on you. If he can stay around until those, these late rounds, he may tie a Manley out. Well, you've seen a lot of boxing. We know you're a serious fan. Who's the most exciting boxer on the scene today in your opinion we got 10 seconds to say it oh i do yeah <laughs> well give me 10 seconds <laughs> we'll ask you in the next round Please. coming to the end of round number three you're looking at joe manley from detroit now living in atlantic city and white is harry arroyo from youngstown ohio 
Tim Ryan, Joel Clancy, and Sugar Bill Cosby. Oh, oh, nice. from the I love this. Listen, Sugar Bill, if you were working in the Royals' corner, what would you tell him between between them? I I loved it when the Royal went to the bottom. I think that since he is the heavier puncher, he should use his jab, which is not faster than Manley's, and he gets you know he gets hit for it. That's why he isn't in there doing it. But he hasn't been hurt when he's gone to the body either with a right hand lead or move in closer and come in with a left hook to the body. I would rather he do that and get Manley to think about other areas other than the head, you see. Headley, he, Manley's protecting his head, and the Royal wants the head, so that leaves only one area out of two to protect. Well, there's another job you can have. Now we can make you a corner. <laughs> I'm ready. Manley counter-punching well. Got a Royal coming in and drives him across the ring with a combination. Third round action scheduled for 10. I'll tell you, if I uh, had time, America's waiting breathlessly to find out who you think the most exciting active fighter is today. Uh, give me two more seconds. <laughs> I'm coming up with it. Uh, my computer's working. We have many names. Very, very high, uh, reminiscent a little bit, Gil, of uh, Floyd Patterson. Yes, Tim and Emil Griffith. Griffith always carried his hands very, very high. Invited guys to punch underneath so he could hit him on the chin. Royal landed that right to the body. And a minute to go, round four. Now, besides the cut under Manley's left eye, he now has a growing mouse, Tim. So he's putting plenty of pressure on Manley. Oh, good solid left by Manley. Again, counter punch. Tim Manley's landing good punches, but they don't seem to be taking Arroyo's form away from him. Very, very cool and calm. Under 30 seconds to go in the fourth round, scheduled for 10. As Bill Clancy has said, two well-schooled fighters showing excellent form through four rounds. Coming to the end of the fourth round here from Atlantic City, we are live on CBS Sports Sunday. Saturday it is. <laughs> There is Harry Arroyo coming out for round number five. You can see the abrasion, a slight cut under the left eye. It's not been a problem for him so far. It's a close fight as we see it through four. Tim, again, it depends on what you like when you're judging a fight. One guy's putting the pressure on and the other guy's throwing a flash here, clean of punches. Very tough fight to judge. Joe Clancy, Tim Ryan. And Sugar Bill Cosby In making person. his network sportscasting debut. Well, not sportscasting. I once worked a tennis event with you many, many years ago. But this is probably your boxing debut. Yeah. Tim, so far... I would have been Pancho in tennis. So far, uh, Sugar Bill has proved to be an adept commentator, a good corner man. Now, let's, let's see how he is as a judge. Who have you got ahead in the fight? I have Manley ahead. Uh, Manly, because I have not seen a royal win the combinations. Manley has always come back and, and left something still working while Arroyo has backed away. I know he's aggressive and he's coming at him, but he's a poster. He's the puncher. He's a, he can't punch going backwards. But if you watch, for instance, the combination here, if they go at it, you'll see that Manley usually stops whatever Arroyo was going to do. Well, we used to play that game in the street, believe it or not, Bill, and that's the way I used to teach my fighters. I used to call it last tag. Yes, whoever throws that last punch in the combination and lands it is the guy that wins that exchange. Absolutely. I'm not saying that Arroyo will not do that later on, but right now, as he's studying Manley, he is, he is having a little bit of trouble. Manley hits hard enough to cause a royal to back off of whatever it was he was going to do when the stuff stops. That's Bill Cosby's commentary from the Sands Hotel. We are live. It is Saturday. We'll have more boxing on CBS Sports Sunday tomorrow in Great Gorge, New Jersey. In McAfee. 
Leon Spinks and Jesse Burnett headlining that. And then later today on this edition of CBS Sports Saturday, Hector Camacho and Melvin Paul, a pair of unbeaten lightweights. Tim Manley seems to be getting in the range with that jab more and more as the rounds go by. Also, in the last 29 seconds, I feel that Arroyo can't pick up the pace, and this pace is easy money for Manley. Fifteen seconds remaining in round number five. Arroyo just missing with that right-hand lead. Two very self-possessed, confident young men in the ring. Joe Manley in red, Harry Arroyo in white. See, Arroyo... Round number six, scheduled for ten. Junior welterweights. Joe Manley in red, Harry Arroyo in white. Tim Ryan, Gil Clancy, and Bill Cosby as our guest commentator here on this first bout of the afternoon. Tim, last round was Manley's best round because Arroyo was taking a little too long to get off. Absolutely. He chases Manley, gets him in the corner, he gets him against the ropes, and he hesitates for that split second, like he just did then, before he wings. He's got a, he's got a free will and let his punches go. The other thing that Manley's doing, he's making Arroyo pay. He counter punches well when he slips. When Arroyo misses, he nails them all the time. He's, he's getting Arroyo's attention. That's why Arroyo is a little slow getting off. When he catches him, like right now, he's in a corner. You notice Arroyo waits before he throws the punch. Arroyo landed a right and a left. Manley slipped. There is no knockdown there. But he was taking a shot to the belly from Arroyo when he went down. But he did slip. The belly, the belly's a little higher than that, Tim. That's true. <laughs> With good pressure by Arroyo, nonetheless, in that last exchange. He's come out like he means business this round. He picked up the pace. Yeah, he must have listened to and Sugar that's Bill. the important thing. Yes. Pick up the pace and stay there. Keep coming after him. Well, again, again, he moves him against the ropes. Bill, but he didn't get off. Hey, well, we've got to stop him from doing it. <laughs> well, we don't have to stop him, Bill, because we're neutral. Oh, okay. <laughs> Arroyo pressing the attack, and there's a slippery spot in that corner, and Manley uh, nearly lost his balance again. There's some water in there. Well, that's Manley's corner, that's where he sits, so he's doing it to himself. He should stop spitting over there. <laughs> well, he's, either that or he's got corner men or a liberal with the water. Solid right hand by Arroyo. There it is. That was the best punch of the fight. Timmy, he caught Manley coming in. Really Manley. nailed him. He's and he knows it to the slippery spot again. Bill, the way he got hit, I don't think he knows what it, where the slippery spot is or not. He's trying to survive right now. Yes, he is. He has no snap on his punches at this moment, but Arroyo unable to get a clean shot. Manley doing a good job of tying him up. We're in the sixth round, under 30 seconds to go. Left by Arroyo, grazed Manley. Artistry has left them both for the moment. They're slugging it now. This is right to the body, left to the head. Manley in trouble again, and he grabs. He has good instincts, Gil, to clinch. That was unbeaten Melvin Paul from New Orleans. This is Joe Lewis Manley in some trouble. In the sixth round with round number seven upcoming, a Royals best round of the fight had Manley wobble, but he has survived, and we're into round seven scheduled for ten. Tim Ryan with Joe Clancy and our special guest commentator, Bill Cosby. Sugar, sugar. Sugar Bill Cosby. You, Sorry sir. about that. I My know word. publicity agent watched that underline. Live from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Arroyo stalking, stalking, hoping that perhaps he's still got Manley in some difficulty. Well, Tim, he's throwing nice combinations now. He's dropping that right hand to the body and hooking off it to the chin. He's landed a good combination. And there he tried that right hand to the body again. And he also, there's a change now. Manley's waiting for to see what he's going to do. And that's not nice for Manley. Bill, have you ever sparred? No. Don't want to? No, because you get hurt and your face bleeds. <laughs> it is a lot easier from here. 
Him, but he's a young guy, well conditioned. He should get his second win. But if not, serious trouble. Good combination of the body by Arroyo. The 17th professional fight for Arroyo. The ninth for Joe Manley. Arroyo has found the target with that right hand to the body. Tim sets up his head punches. Referee is Paul Bendy. He will score the fight with judges Harold Letterman and Paul Cavalier. and Paul between rounds. It'll be Paul and Camacho coming up later on CBS Sports Saturday. Tim, it's amazing. Arroyo has found that one combination that Manley can't seem to get away from. And that's that right to the body and left back to hook back to the head. Works for him four or five times every round. And he really has made a difference in the fight. He's also using a right counter after the jab. And that will go to the body or overhead. Be because... Uh, Manley's jab is not as fast as it was. Manley just landed a beautiful right hand counter, but it didn't seem to bother Arroyo at all. He just quite doesn't have there it is. to follow at Arroyo. Two big shots, a right hand by Arroyo, a right hand back from Manley, under 30 seconds to go. Tough fight. Two good looking young prospects. Definitely the old cliche, but you hate to see one of these kids walking out a loser. Well, you and I have talked about that before. Having a loss on your record, if it's a good one, and I would say through seven, that's the way it's going to be. You know, it's really not that big a deal. Uh, the uh, the idea of remaining unbeaten is a nice one. Doesn't mean you can't win a championship with a loss. Especially if you gave a good fight. End of round seven. Following this bout between two fine, young-looking junior welterweights, Joe Manley in the red trunks, Harry Arroyo in white. Arroyo from Youngstown, Ohio. Manley from Detroit, now living in Atlantic City. Tim Arroyo has been putting pressure on Manley since the opening bell of the first round, but I think you should even increase the pressure now. He doesn't want to let Manley get a second win and start boxing again and get back in the fight. Really should start the wing now. Two of our four unbeaten fighters on today's CBS Sports Saturday card. Manley was on the Kronk boxing team as an amateur until he went into the Army, and then when he came out after winning service championships, decided he would leave the uh, Kronk gym, go out on his own, which he has done as a professional very successfully. Uh, Sugar, Sugar Bill, we asked you about a royal before. Now, if you were in Manley's corner, what would you be telling him to do at this stage of the fight? Well, first of all, he cannot stand there and hope and hope that Arroyo misses a shot. He's got to stay alert. I think his fatigue is making him hope that Arroyo misses. He's got to fire back. He's got to stay relaxed. He's got to put his combination in. And most of all, don't stand flat-footed and trade with this guy. Well, do you think that you might possibly tell him to double up that jab and back Arroyo up once in a while, get him off his feet? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But they've got to be quick. They've got to be quick. And look out for his right-hand counter. I, I think Manley doesn't look as, as tired as the last round now. That's that youth and training. You get that second win. And second win is a lot better than the first one. You can last a long time once you get over that initial tiredness. Round number eight, scheduled for 10. Tim Ryan, Joe Clancy, Sugar Bill Cosby. Having this action live. You love the sound of that, don't you? Yeah. But I don't. You might find yourself challenged uh, by Sugar Ray Leonard. Keep that up. I don't. Minute to go. He's only a little welterweight, Bill. Don't worry about it. Really? Yeah. Just a welterweight. All right. Bring him on. <laughs> what is it, 25 million to fall down? <laughs> Arroyo continuing to stock, Manley continuing to counterpunch, and he lands a good left jab under 30 seconds to go. Arroyo bangs right to the body. Tim, this is another no. fight, again, round by round. The judges may be scoring this thing entirely differently. One guy's doing the chases, but Manley's landing some pretty sharp punches himself. 
Going to the end of the eighth round, scheduled for 10. They cut under a Royal's eye, leading a little more freely. Round number nine, Joe Manley's corner, Wesley Muzon, his trainer, and uh, manager Bob Middleman, Stan Hoffman. Showing a little bit of concern here as Arroyo somewhat taken it away the last couple of rounds. Neither fighter has scored a knockdown. Manley was somewhat hurt in round number seven. Tim, I think the fight is still up for grabs because Manley had those early rounds, blowing the flash of punches. This, this to me, is a very tough fight to judge. I think it's still, still up in the air. I agree. There's only one been, been one big round. Arroyo had the big round. He dominated, but again, that's only one round. It only goes down to the judges' score cards is one round. But I still feel that unless Arroyo picks up the pace, he's not going to win. Well, saving it for is in the ninth round he should be letting those hands go now i, I want to ask you to look at one thing look at arroyo he's breathing through his mouth he's played with his nose a couple of times you think it might be bothering him it isn't bleeding but you think it might be bothering him? possibility oh solid right hand scored by arroyo that move manly into the ropes both fighters landing in that exchange. Manley's hands are so fast that they, they flash out and they do land, but it's very, very difficult to land, pick up. And they land in a solid place, too. They, you can see his head shake. It looks as if Arroyo is now cut above the left eye as well as below, Tim. Bernard falls in the corner. Going to have to do a job this round. Round nine, under a minute to go. It's amazing, Tim, how well that combination, that right to the body, left hook to the head, worked for Arroyo. He forgot all about it now. Just there he, he just threw it in. You sure they can't hear us, Bill? I think they're watching us. They know that uh, Sugar Bill is here. There is blood at the left corner of the eye of Arroyo. And he you takes see, another solid shot from Manley there. He needs to pick the pace up or else he's going to get stuck. It is flip-flop since he hurt Manley the last time. Manley's got it back together again. He's fighting a pace that Manley likes. Uppercut scored by Manley inside. 15 seconds remaining, round nine. It's been a good, tough fight. Good display by both these young men. 23-year-old Joe Manley, 25-year-old Harry Arroyo. Number 10, the final round. Paul Benny, the referee, has Joe Manley and Harry Arroyo touch gloves. And, uh, they come out swinging here for this final round. Well, we've got, a, we've got a difference of opinion among these three unofficial judges. I've got Arroyo ahead by a round. You've got Manley slightly ahead, and Gil says it's even going into the final round. Yes. And Arroyo's got to pick the pace up now. Pick it up, Arroyo. Move in. Force him to slug with you. Take it now. Take it now. See, he's got to move. Now, all Manly, Manly can't win by backing away either. So if this round comes out even, it's got to be a draw. Manly threw a right hand off balance. Arroyo looks good because he's doing all the chasing, and the judges, they, they do give you points for aggressiveness. He certainly has been the aggressive for the entire fight, no question about that. But he waits, he waits too long when he catches them. That's Absolutely. his problem. Absolutely. Absolutely. The judges are Paul Cavalier and Harold Letterman, along with the referee Paul Venti, on the round system in New Jersey. Royal and white, Manley and red. If you joined us along the way, we've got Sugar Bill Cosby, and we'd like to thank him for joining us on our commentary this afternoon. Remember, Hector Camacho and Melvin Paul next on CBS Sports Saturday. Good exchange by both fighters. Shot in and knocked Arroyo down. Arroyo appears to be clear-eyed. 
No, he isn't either. Well, look clear eye to me. Well, that's well you can only see one eye. <laughs> 104. 104. Left in his 10th round. Arroyo keeps coming forward. He may have been knocked down, Tim, but he's still the aggressor. He's still chasing Manley. Manley, I guess, feels he won the fight with that one punch. And he almost went down. Got hit on the left. And another combination scored by Manley. They're both getting clean shots now. Good fight. Junior Welterweight. Tim, anytime you get two kids with this great amateur background, amateur champions, they are champions in their heart, and they're proving it right now. What a fight. Another big right hand landed by Manley. Takes one to the body. Royal trying to pin him there and can't do it. Royal lands the left hand. That's better. Now, now he fights the way he should have fought. It's all over, and the audience here of serious fight fans at the Sands Hotel in Atlantic City comes to their feet. Let's go back and see some of that final round action. These two young men giving it their all. You're going to be hearing more from both of them. There's a solid left inside by Manley. Overhand right. And out of this exchange, I believe the knockdown comes right there. They both landed good punches. Manley landed the best one, and down went Arroyo. The only knockdown of the fight. We're back live. We'll be back with a decision momentarily. Let's go to Brent Musburger in New York. Atlantic City, let's go to Ed Darien for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. And the scoring as follows. Judge Harold Letterman scoring at 5-4-1 Arroyo. Referee Paul Venti scoring at 7-3 Manley. And Judge Paul Cavalier scoring at 6-4. And the winner and still undefeated, Harry Arroyo. Harry Arroyo has won a split decision. Most of the audience here thought Manley won the fight. But it is a split decision in favor of Harry Arroyo of Youngstown, Ohio. They were both outstanding. We'll be back with more Camacho and Paul upcoming. Right now, let's return to you again with our thanks to Bill Cosby, to Brent nice Musburger in New York. Seats. Good action from the WBA's Union Middleweight Championship event. This is the second round of uh, the contest. This, uh, this preceded uh, the uh, featherweight title and will be the last action before the heavyweight championship of the world. In the 